now we welcome uh, our, our Dean State Owls uh, softball coach into the booth um, to ask a few questions after the doubleheader. Um, the first question has to be, what did you tell the team going into that second game? Obviously, the first didn't go as expected, but the way you guys played was a complete turnaround. What was the main focus going into game two? That we need to play our game. <laughs> and I sound like a broken record because every time <laughs> you ask me questions about what was the difference, what do we need to do next time, we need to show up and play our game. So in between games, clearly the first game did not go the way that we wanted it to. Um, we have a lot more fight in us than that. So in between games, we made sure that they had five minutes to do whatever they needed to do. And then we came back and we refocused. We took some swings in the cage, took some ground balls, and just really did a great job coming together as a team. Now, during the, during the, sec during the second game of the doubleheader, you guys were down 4-2 to two after tying the game up 2-2. Two -two. How, how do you think your team did to respond in the bottom half of that inning to take over the lead again 5-4? I think what we keep saying is chip away, chip away, chip away. So we don't care how many runs another team scores on us because we know we are capable of scoring that same number of runs or more. I am so proud of our fight. We took advantage of any miscues that happened for Eastern Connecticut, which is something exciting for us to be able to cause a little chaos in the base paths. And we made really great contact with the ball. Um, now, finally, it was like the energy on the field mm. at – any point you could look out and you saw, you know, our girls singing, dancing, <laughs> talking, <laughs> communicating. Um, and I know, like, for some people, they look at that and they, you know, they say, oh, they're taking it lightly or this and that. I, I see that as an amazing way to stay positive no matter what's going, whether you're up, whether you're down. Was that coach facilitator? Do you think that energy came from the inside? That always comes from the inside. <laughs> we have such a young, <laughs> wacky group. And that's probably not the best way to describe them. But <laughs> they are a really fun-loving group. They love each other up. They celebrate each other. They pick up their teammates when they're down. And they, they know how to shift from being really goofy on the bench and then being super focused on the field. But the energy definitely helps us. So I'm glad that everybody <laughs> else noticed it. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, thank you so much for sure. you guys put on an extremely good performance in that type of thing. Yeah. Good job. Thank you. That's something that we've seen. It's, it's nothing like we saw in the first game. It's a great yeah. response play by San Giovanni to get that runner out at third. Uh, get a runner out at first. That ball driven out to left field. Deep. That, that ball's ball over the field. Fair it is the game leading home run. This is the first lead now for Keene State in the game today in the double header. And that's what we've been talking about since they tied this game up. And even when they were down by two, they acted like they had the lead. That's they were exact, confident. They were calm. They exactly came ready to play. Exactly what they needed here. Eastern Connecticut, uh, Eastern Connecticut takes both games 10-1 to 1 and 9-8. to 8. Definitely the second game for the Owls was a lot better. What do you think about the second game performance, Ryan? Yeah, I mean, I think they did exactly what we kind of set up here in the booth. You know, in between games... Um, you know, we said they're leaving a lot of runners on the base. You know, they're getting out of innings when they have runners in scoring position. And um, looking at that second game, they really capitalized on that. You know, obviously the difference of putting up one run or putting up eight. Um, so I know they lost that second one, but the fight was incredible. And, you know, they really showed that they can be in it. Yeah, so the Owls' next game will be another LEC doubleheader at Southern Maine. The next time the Owls will take home field here at the Owl Athletic Complex will be April 27th against Westfield State. That will also be a double header. Game starting at 3 and 5 p.m. I'm Reed Rampanelli. I'm Ryan Miller. Thank you guys for joining us, and that's the conclusion. Thank you. You have been watching a Keene State Athletics broadcast on the Owls Media Network. Please tune in to our next broadcast, and thank you for watching.